Amongst the various smart scales, Withings Body Scan is shaping up to be a strong competitor to the likes of Hume Health or Renfo. But what makes Withings stand out against the competitors who seemingly already perfected the art of showing weirdly insulting numbers on my scales? In this Withings Body Scan review, I will review everything from the device's build to its features, app UI, and user benefits. First things first, we have to unbox the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale. This is the box it comes in. Opening it right up, and there we have the body scale in this big box. Inside we have, it looks like a pretty straightforward welcome guide and instruction manual and, you know, sort of the usual paperwork that you get with any smart health product. Now let's take the scale out of the box and get the big box out of the way so we can really see what we're working with here. This thing definitely has some weight to it, I will say that. Let me get it out without breaking it. Looks like we have a little tiny box in here with some cables and charging accessories and we'll get to that in a second also a wall mount so what we get in the box is pretty straightforward obviously we have the withings body scan smart scale itself very straightforward user guide and user information we have a USB-C charging cable as well as a wall handle mount for this handle right here which I do want to say the Hume body pod and the Renfo smart scale do not come with a wall uh, mount for the handle. All around the edges of the device are pretty much the same except for at the top is where we have the USB-C charging port which they provide the cable for and that's how we're going to charge the product. Now the surface of the scale itself is a tempered glass platform. It feels really nice. This feels like a premium product and it feels really really durable. One of the more durable and premium feeling and looking smart scales that I've tested over the last few months. It looks really nice. The dimensions of the smart scale itself are compact enough where you can pretty much put this thing under any piece of furniture, under a desk, a bed, couch, uh, anything like that. So it might actually be very easy to misplace. Now, it may be a little hard to see on camera because the device isn't on yet, but right here in the middle at the top, we have a 2.8 inch high resolution LCD screen that is easy to read even from a distance, which is really nice. Now, a couple of things I want to mention right off the bat, off my first impressions, compared to the other smart skills that I've reviewed here on this channel. For example, the Hume Health Body Pod, it's a kind of similar setup where the handle magnetically attaches to the top of the scale, has a black glass uh, surface that is really nice. But even compared to the Hume Health Body Pod, this feels a lot more luxurious has more weight to it too it feels like there's more in it and even compared to the renfo smart scale this has a much more premium feel to that one as well um, i like the design i like the look of it very very nice a particularly neat part of the withings design is this handle it's designed to improve measurement accuracy through a dynamic segmental analysis of the arms legs and torso ever wonder how much your hand weighs when separated from your body no Probably not because neither have I. It's kind of creepy if you think about it. But hey, now you can find out. The handle also hosts the electrodes used for the six LED ECG, but a bit more on that later. For now, I wanna let you know that this device might look premium, but it doesn't necessarily have to come at a premium cost. You can get the latest discount for the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale with my link in the description down below or through this QR code. Don't walk away from the maximum value. One thing I do want to note is that the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale does need the Withings Body Scan app in order to obviously set up the device, but also track your data. And since we're on the note of tracking data, the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale can track up to eight users and individually recognize all eight users and who is currently stepping on the scale, which is really nice, so it's great for a full family. Now that the firmware update has finished on the scale, we have officially paired the Withings Body Scan scale to the Withings Body Scan app, and we're gonna do our first weigh-in together. Open up the Withings app on my phone, and we're gonna hit the measure button down there at the bottom, and we're gonna go ahead and wake up the scale. Now, I do wanna make something clear. The reason I'm barefoot is because you need to be barefoot and you need to have a clean surface for the scale in order for it to track accurately. So I'm gonna wipe down the scale. So we're gonna go ahead, step on the scale. I'm gonna reach down, pull up the handles, make sure my fingers are on the electrodes. As you can see, it's going through different metrics on the actual scale itself on the screen. And at the moment, it's doing an ECG scanning and it's giving me a countdown and it told me to stay still for 30 seconds. Heart rate 126, 
and there is the weather and the air quality report as well. See you soon. Handle goes back down. Now you don't need the phone to do the actual weigh-in. What's really nice is you can see pretty much most of the data you want to see on the little screen that's built into the scale. And it's very bright. It has a nice resolution to it. It's easy to read from afar. I'm about six foot tall and I had no problems reading that. So now let's go into the app and take a closer look at the data it just gave me. And this is what the homepage looks like. As you can see, it has a very modern and sleek feel to it. Over the last few days using the app, I have had no bugs, no issues. I will say overall, it's easy to read and easy to find information, which is very important. As you can see right here, we have a body composition. And on the homepage, we can already see some trends and some numbers, and it's telling me gaining weight. So over my last few check-ins, I have gained weight. So I'm gonna tap into body composition. And right here, immediately we have a graph showing our trends over time. And we have year, semester, quarter, month, and week views that we can look at depending on your goals and how often you wanna check in with yourself. We have a muscle mass and fat mass uh, trend counter, basically. As we scroll down, we have our segmental analysis. That is the scale reading each arm individually, each leg individually, as well as the torso. And if we scroll down just a little bit on this white section here, if we click on that, this is where things get really fun. This is gonna give us a 3D look at my body, at your body, and show us exactly where the most fat or where the most muscle is being stored. And with this little 3D figure, I can rotate it side to side just to see exactly what's going on. As you can see, it's color coded and it gives us numbers. And I can click on torso, for example, and take a closer look at that. I can do the same thing with my arms and legs. And at the bottom there, we have a color coded scale showing lowest to highest, which you can use to read your 3D avatar. And if we click on muscle, it's going to show us where the most or least muscle is relative to our torso, arms, and legs. And if we click out of this and scroll down, here's where we can see visceral fat index. We can see our lean mass and trends over time, as well as our bone mass. And right under that, we have water mass. And it tells you little check marks, like my water mass, green check, healthy. Cool. That's all I need to know. My lean mass, low with a little caution symbol. So that means, that tells me that I need more muscle relative to my age. And as I said, the app is very easy to read. It's easy to see the graphs and to get the main information that you want. And if you do want more information on every single section, scrolling towards the bottom, there's all these little links to whatever section you're in. What I like about this so far is how easy it is to see the trends over time. Remember, tools like this aren't just to see the snapshot, uh, it's to see the trend over time, how you're doing. Is your diet actually helping you lose weight? Is your workout regimen actually helping you build muscle and you can see very clearly if it is or if it isn't. Moving on back at the home page, we scroll down a bit further, we have the weight section. Here's where you're going to find more information about your body, not just fat and muscle mass. So as we can see at the current moment, my last weigh in, which was just a few minutes ago, 183.9 pounds, and it says stable, we can click into weight. And again, trends over time. But if we scroll down, we have a weight breakdown body mass index, we move on over, we have our basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories your body burns at rest, doing nothing, just breathing and surviving. For me, it's about 1900 calories. And it shows me that basically my metabolism went up. I'm on the uptrend right now, which is really nice. That means I can have more food. Then it also gives you a metabolic age, which is really nice. Mine is 29 years old, so I'm a year younger metabolically than I actually am because I'm 30. And it's nice to see this information. Now, one of the unique things with the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale is the fact that it can do ECG readings and give you sort of an overview of your cardiovascular health, which you saw me do during the weigh-in. You could see my heartbeat or my heart rate on the little screen on the scale, which is really nice. But here in the app, if I dive into this, we can get an even closer look at my heart rate and my cardiovascular health. Right here, this was at seven o'clock this morning. It says normal sinus rhythm. And what's really cool is you can hit play ECG and it's gonna show you that live 30 second recording of your heart rate. And it says my heart rate at that moment was 95 beats per minute. And if we scroll down, we have more status on basically what it's telling you and how to know if it's healthy or not. 
But again, something I want to make clear, this is not to be used as an actual medical diagnosis. This is simply for you to track your trends over time. Another unique biometric that the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale has is electrodermal activity or your nerve health score. So let's go ahead and click in there because there's something that I want to do with you live on camera. I don't really know what electrodermal activity means, let's just say, right? I can scroll down and it says, what is electrodermal activity score? So it's another biometric that you have access to to take a look at your overall health. Mine says normal. As you can see on the graph there, we have a little dot right at the end, which says my predicted score is 84. So this score is based from zero to 100, as you can see on the graph, and from 51 up to 100, the green part on the graph is the normal or the healthy range that you should be in for your age. The last really interesting biometric that I want to share with you that I found to be really unique with the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale is vascular age. And as you can see, mine says optimal green check mark at 23 years old. Now I'm 30, so that's kind of exciting me. Let's click on that and see what that really means. Now the vascular age, the nerve health score or EDA, and my metabolic age, these are all things that I didn't even know I wanted or needed to see, but now that I have them and have access to them, it's really nice and something that I'm gonna keep checking in on to make sure I'm doing well, not just with my body composition and my weight and my fat mass, but also my cardiovascular health, my nerve health, and overall health in general. It gives you a bigger snapshot of what or how your habits are affecting your life, which I find really interesting and really useful. So overall, the process that we just went through from opening the scale to turning it on, pairing it with the app and doing our first few weigh-ins and reading the weigh-ins is incredibly simple. Withings has put a lot of time and effort, you can tell, into the app and into the scale and how easy it is to read this information, no matter how tech savvy you are, no matter how, how health savvy you are even, anyone can do it. And I really, really appreciate the work that they put into it. Very simple process, great app and great scale. And what I really, really do enjoy is that I don't have to have the app right in front of me when I do my weigh-ins. So like I said, I like to weigh myself in the morning right upon waking up. And I don't like to go on my phone right when I wake up. I like to wait a little bit. So I can go on the scale and see on the screen basically all the information that we just went over without even having to open my phone. Plus, a little bonus is the weather report and the air quality. You saw how the Withings Smart Scale works, but what technical wonders are hidden behind the performance? In terms of weight measurement, Withings weight sensors operate with a 0.1 pound precision, or around 50 grams for those of you outside the US. The scale supports a weight range from 9 to 440 pounds, and you can switch that number to kilograms or even stones. The scale also guides any user into the correct position, ensuring accurate measurement taking. Weighing in regularly, you can expect this scale to last around a year per charge. The power efficiency is already high and a rechargeable LI ion battery makes Withings a really low maintenance device. And now in a world full of tech all around the house, having a low maintenance device is incredibly convenient and adds points. While Withings supports automatic recognition for up to eight users, it also includes special modes depending on the user's personal needs. For instance, athlete, pregnancy, or baby modes serve to satisfy completely different needs for any user. But regardless of the chosen mode, the smart scale provides a detailed body composition analysis. I managed to measure my fat and muscle distribution in five separate body zones, one for the torso and each arm and leg. Thanks to using three different scanning frequencies, Withings is very precise in measuring fat, muscle, bone mass, and even hydration levels. Comes in handy for that athlete mode. Withings also estimates your basal metabolic rate, predicting the daily calorie intake required to maintain your weight or even slowly let it go. This pairs especially well with visceral fat scanning, letting me see which organs might suffer from the fatty layer the most, which in my opinion is really useful information. And of course, no respectable smart scale these days can survive without a body mass index calculator. Not that it's super novel these days, but hey, Withings has it. What is way more impressive is all the extra work Withings puts into checking on my cardiovascular health. That's where the six lead ECG electrodes in the handle come back into play. These may catch the signs of atrial fibrillation, the most common arrhythmia type. And thankfully, I don't have it. That said, even without arrhythmia, Withings may provide cardiovascular health insights through heart rate, arterial stiffness, and vascular age insights gathered during scanning. 
Besides peeking at my heart, Withings also has a way to track what's called your nerve health score. Through monitoring electrodermal activity, this smart scale may find signs of autonomic nerve function and even potential early signs of diabetes-related complications. All of this is greatly appreciated for any health-focused device. And if you are already old enough to have your joints ache each time it rains, Withings app provides a daily weather forecast. Yeah, step on the scale and get a localized weather report alongside an air quality analysis, a surprising extra to say the least. Even if you don't need that extra, you can try the Withings Body Scan Smart Scale with an exclusive discount. Check the link in the description for the best available price, or you can scan this QR code. It's the same deal, I promise. So to summarize, who would the Withings Body Smart Scale be perfect for? I'd say their target audience is the same as the Hume Health or Renfo smart scales. They are perfect for those who need the best smart scale to track a comprehensive range of health metrics at home. However, Withings is overcoming the competition with its cardiovascular monitoring and nerve health analysis. It's a top tier health tracker for a full family, with some measurements that would perfectly fit a weight conscious young adult and some which will prolong a comfortable life for the elderly. In my opinion, Withings' only downside is its slightly higher pricing compared to the competitors, but you already know how to fix that part, right? With my discounts, I mean. Link in the description, you know. If you're still not sure you need this particular smart scale, feel free to check out the video reviews for the Hume Health Pod and the Renfo Smart Scale here on the Health News channel. Or leave a like and make sure to subscribe if this video helped you make your buying decision.